Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion were on Instagram Live last night at the same exact time. I'm going to show you guys some of the comments and some of the footage. Megan Thee Stallion was acting a fool and Doja Cat was acting very civilized. Let's get this coffee and tea. Let's get with it. Doja Cat was on live exactly the same time as Megan Thee Stallion. So many of Doja Cat fans wanted her to go on live with Megan Thee Stallion. And this is what some of her fans suggested. They said, go join Megan's live. Then another fan said, go live with Megan. Then another fan said, go live with Megan. She's on right now. Then someone says, I don't hate Meg, but she just isn't the vibe right now. She's a little troublesome someone else says nah Doja can't join Megan live laughing my A off they two different energies right now Doja is chill and Megan is taking shots and this fan right here made me laugh they said help me I don't know whether to be in Doja's live or Megan's live crying emoji actually I went inside of both lives I went in Megan's live and it was so disgusting to me she was putting up middle fingers, she was cursing, she was drinking, she was booty shaking. It was too much booty shaking. I mean, she was showing you almost to practically see up her crack. But anywho, um, I decided just to go on Doja Cat's live. And she actually had, Doja Cat actually had more people watching her. If I remember correctly. Megan didn't, she had a lot of people watching, but it, um, they probably felt the same way as me. But anywho, um, if I would show... Megan's live YouTube probably would ban it or anyway because it was too much um profanity and sexual stuff going on in that live anywho let's continue and here's short footage of Megan dancing and all you know on Instagram live I don't want to show the part where she was shaking her booty because look like you can see all the way up her crack <laughs> butt crack mm, that sounds horrible We're a big fan. Literally, the biggest. We're the biggest fan. We're the biggest fan. To find out that they gave me a, a bottle of Perigmin. Ugh. Amazing. Amazing. Really good stuff that they're doing over there. Hopefully they see this. That's why I keep talking about it. I want more. More goodies, please. Also, Freck, I ordered from you the other day. Um, it says that the package was delivered and it was not. But it's okay. I still love you. What's this perignin giving? It's Dom Perignin. 2005? Does that mean that it's from 2005? I have a question. Is my food here? Um, nobody called me, but I have a question. If you have like bottles of wine and champagne, I don't think champagne is the same as wine at all. Maybe it is, but like wine and champagne, whatever. Can you, do you like, if you save it for like 
20 years. Say I put. Okay, nice. So um, if you save it for like 20 years, does it make it taste better? Does it make it more valuable? What, like, is the older the wine, the better it is? Like, what's that about? Do you guys know anything about that? It's not a yes or no like question. It's like a like you can still drink it if it's like thirty years old. I have had about two bowls of wine I am toasted I'm out of here I love you guys um I'm gonna eat my food I'm gonna watch uh, a movie on Netflix but I don't know which because I can't watch fucking Inception without my friend and I can't watch One Piece without my friend but um i'm gonna look for something to watch i need like a good kids movie watch I think I'm just gonna watch a penguin documentary I really am tired of this I'm so upset my Wi-Fi doesn't work I don't want to go you guys make me feel comforted I'm just gonna go I love you okay bye That's what the fuck I'm going to do because my friend doesn't like horror movies. So that's, I'm going to watch a horror movie. Bye. Love you. And for those of you who do not know who Doja Cat is, Doja Cat real name is Amala Ratna Zadal Damani. She was born October 21st, 1995. She is known professionally as Doja Cat. And she is an American singer, rapper, songwriter, and record producer. She was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. She began making and releasing music on SoundCloud as a teenager. Her song, So High, caught the attention of Kimasabi Records and RCA Records, where she signed a joint record deal at the age of 17, subsequently releasing her debut album, Purr, in 2014. Okay guys and girls, let me know what you think, put your comments below, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and please come back for more videos. Love you guys, bye.